Hi, it's Przemek here, the creator of MetaGrid Pro. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up Cubase to work with our new MIDI remote control surfaces. For more information on all the bells and whistles that we've got for you in MetaGrid Pro 1.6.5, like controlling insert parameters, uh, scent levels, volume, pan, transport, and lots of lots of other things. Watch the dedicated videos made by our friend Brian. In this video, I'll, I'll help you to set it up correctly in no time. So let's jump in. So first, you will need to download the support files from our website. So go to metagrid.app, click support, go to the resources and download section, and there are two items, DAW and MIDI setup guide, that includes all the steps I will be performing. So if, if you've got any issues, doubts, um, refer to this manual. And uh, Metasystem app specific resources that include all the support files that need to be installed in Cubase. So click it to download it. Go to your download folder. There are several folders there for various DAWs and there is a dedicated folder for Cubase. And that includes two subfolders, controllers and macros. And let's focus on controllers. I've got a MIDI remote folder with two devices, commands and selected channel. And I've got generic remote folder with two files, uh, Metasystem macros and Metasystem macros, two XML files. All these devices will need to be added in Cubase. So let's start with MIDI remote devices. Now take this folder, Metagrid Pro, and make sure it's copied to the following location you see on the screen for Mac and for Windows. With these files being located where they should, um, restart Cubase to register the scripts. And let's start configuring the devices. In Cubase, open Studio menu, select MIDI Remote Manager, and tap and click, sorry, it's the clicking interface, uh, add control surface and select vendor. And uh, here is Metagrid Pro as vendor. Uh, from the model dropdown list, select, um, select the channel. And uh, we need to specify the MIDI port. So for that device, use Metasystem Cubase Synced In and Metasystem Cubase Sync Out. This is the port that will handle all bidirectional communication with Cubase, uh, between Cubase and Metagrid Pro. And activate MIDI control surface. Here I am. Now I need to add the second device. So again, I go to MIDI Remote Manager. Uh, I click Add Surface, select Vendor, Metagrid Pro, Model, Commands, and for that select Metasystem Cubase In and Metasystem Cubase Out, although this device will not send information to Metagrid Pro, we need to select the output, uh, otherwise you will not be able to activate uh, this controls, controller surface. So let's activate MIDI controller surface. And here I am. So in the lower zone, I've got in MIDI remote section, I've got two devices added. Metagrid Pro selected channel and Metagrid Pro commands. This one will handle all um, bidirectional communication uh, between Cubase and Metagrid uh, needed for selected track information like volume, inserts, sends, and so on. And Metagrid Pro commands will handle all the commands uh, triggered from Metagrid Pro to Cubase. So with these two devices added, I proceed with adding the generic remote devices. So I click Studio, Studio Setup, and I click Add Device. I select generic remote and I tap import, I click import and I select Metasystem macros, open it and I make sure that I specify MIDI input as Metasystem Cubase N. I don't need to specify MIDI output and I click apply and I add another device, generic remote and I tap, I click import, 
MetaSystem Macros 2 open, and again, this will communicate on MetaSystem Cubase N, right? And I click apply. These two devices will be used to handle all the custom macros that we've prepared for you for MIDI manipulation, scene switching, but also you will be able to assign your own macros. And uh, at this moment, uh, these two devices will be needed to handle uh, the, this aspect of integration between Cubase and MetaGrid Pro. All right, and we need one more device, uh, uh, namely the uh, Maki Control, uh, because I want to display the time code on the transport gesture pad in the selected channel grid. I need to set up the uh, MIDI output as MetaSystem MCU. No need to select uh, anything in the MIDI input. And I tap OK. Now, there's one more step needed. In the studio, uh, studio setup, go to MIDI port setup here. Yeah. And in, in all MIDI inputs column, you need to exclude MetaSystem Cubase, MetaSystem Cubase Sync, and MetaSystem MCU from registering the data on the tracks in Cubase. So uncheck these check boxes and leave only MetaSystem in as checked. And this will be the port that will transmit uh, the MIDI nodes, CCs that you will be able to register on your tracks. That's uh, very important if you don't want to have uh, some uh, unexpected data being uh, registered on uh, Cubase uh, tracks. And click OK. Now let's see if it's working. So uh, here is my selected channel and grid in MetaGrid Pro. When I change tracks, everything responds and also I can show plugins, I can manipulate uh, the uh, parameters and uh, I can set the sense volume and let me check whether the uh, time code is properly registered. I tap play and as you can see it's working as expected. So that's all that's needed to uh, make you working with our new integration between Cubase and MetaGrid Pro. I hope that you're going to love uh, what we've prepared for you in MetaGrid Pro 1.6.5. And uh, yeah, watch the videos made by Brian. They are amazing and contains lots of useful information that will make you fall in love with our new integration. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.